Welcome to Jesse's Game Review Tips and Strategy and today's video is going to be on the game Arcanum. I'm going to show you some bugs and exploits that still works. Number one, you can duplicate any types of stacks. To do it with gold, you drag the gold over, you type in half of the gold value, that's 15,000, you remove the remaining gold over, you scroll down, you right click to get the gold back and then you press this arrow and press green to move the gold over. I now have 43,000 gold instead of 29,000. Number two, stopping the world map travel very quickly can allow you to get into places where you normally can't. As you can see, I just got into Tula, which is almost impossible at the beginning of the game without this method. And number three, you can steal from unstealable creatures by casting the body of fire on them. Once you do this, you can actually start pickpocketing from them. Number four, normally when you cast Dominate Will on an opponent and relinquish it, the opponent will attack you. However, if you cast Dominate Will on an opponent and you press F5 to use the back off command and then you relinquish Dominate Will, the opponent will not attack you. You can now cast Charm on this NPC and interact with, with it with like it had never had aggro with you or never hated you. However, if you cast Dominate Will on this NPC again, press F5 command and relinquish the Dominate Will, the negative reaction of this opponent will increase drastically without it being seen. So even when you cast Charm again on this NPC, you will not be able to interact with the NPC. Number 5. Casting Reflection Shield on Summon Creatures makes them permanent. All you have to do is remove the summon buff and then you remove the reflection shield buff and now the summon creature is permanent and will follow you throughout the game. Using the NPC chat features that normally moves you to a certain location can be used anywhere including the void. Here I use dominate will on this dwarf that will take me to the dredge. If I teleport to Roseboro and I go and get banished into the void I would be able to talk to this dwarf and he would send me back to, into the dredge allowing me to escape the void. Are you prepared? Once inside a void, I want to find a safe location where there are no enemies that will aggro this dwarf and I. You can go ahead and release, you use F5 command and relinquish this and then use charm or you can cast invisible on yourself relinquish and then talk to the dwarf and you should have the ability to go into the dredge now once you do that you're back to the dredge and you have escaped the void if you apply the same concept from before on Goran the pit master you would be able to get back into the isle of despair by bringing him, him back on your boat but just make sure that when you do talk to him and come back, you know that it's a one-way trip. Because you can't bring anyone with you into a pit fight, and you can't use the spell teleportation in the Isle of Despair. Casting any buffs or sustaining spells on your allies or opponents, and then casting the Dweemer shield makes that buff permanent. As you see, I cast Dominate Will, and I cast the Waymer shield this opponent or NPC is now under my command I was thinking why do I have to save the world by myself and so after great conversations with a bunch of the Tehran villagers I was able to convince them all to be banished with me on this journey and quest to fight Kurgon and somehow they agreed and made the decision to join me on my quest. And somehow, against all odds, we were victorious.